Al Capone, quotes of unusual people on the channel, my inspiration. Some are careful not to lose. If you play carefully, you will definitely lose. It's nothing personal, it's just business. Don't try the depth of the river with both feet. Be correct with everyone, sociable with many, close to the elect, friend to the few. A minute of patience, ten years of comfort. With a kind word and a gun, you can accomplish much more than just one kind word. A bullet changes a lot in the head, even if it hits the ass. Can the enemy be forgiven? God will forgive. Our task is to arrange their meeting. I will give three dozen of my thugs for one person who knows how to solve issues by talking. Hell must be a cool place, since the little ones who came up with religion wanted so much that no one else would get there, except for them. If your friends ask you to come to an agreement with your enemy, then the traitors have already agreed behind your back. All those killed were hanged on me, except for the victims of the World War. From time to time and endure fools, you can find out something worthwhile, but never argue with them. Always pull the snake out of the hole with someone else's hands. The world belongs to the patient. Don't shake the green apple tree, when the apple is ripe, it will fall by itself. I'm a businessman, I made my money supplying popular demand. If I break the law, my clients are as guilty as I am. Be flexible. As soon as you stopped being flexible, you died. Be flexible. This is a forged from metal and absolutely inflexible rule. The most flexible element gradually becomes the controlling one in the system. Listen to advice that gives you an edge. Do not give such advice to anyone. Don't touch the problem until the problem touches you. Everything you have done will come back to you. A fool is he who cannot hide his wisdom. The most dangerous enemy you can meet will always be yourself. Best Quotes by John Rockefeller John Davison Rockefeller American entrepreneur, founder of Standard Oil, philanthropist, the first official dollar billionaire in human history. According to official sources, he is the richest person in the world over the past 100 years, today his fortune would be over $360 billion. Dreams are the main thing in your life. A person begins to die when he stops dreaming. Think about how to make at least $50,000 a month. More is possible, less is not possible. There is no need to be afraid of big expenses, you need to be afraid of small incomes. Your well-being depends on your own decisions. If you have little money, you need to do business. If there is no money at all, you need to do business urgently. Right now. Whoever works all day has no time to earn money work less for someone else. The more you do not work for yourself, the worse you live.
A poor environment almost always pulls you into poverty. Surround yourself with winners and optimists. Poverty occurs when you shirk responsibility. Do not make up an excuse for yourself why right now you cannot start walking towards your goal. Through perseverance, anything, right or wrong, good or bad, will be achieved. I would rather receive income from 1% of the efforts of 100 people than from 100% of my own efforts. The path to great wealth lies only through passive income, income that comes to you regardless of your efforts. I would rather hire someone who is enthusiastic than someone who knows everything. The first and foremost prerequisite for business success is patience. I don't think there is another quality that is so necessary for success of any kind, as perseverance. Perseverance can overcome everything, even the laws of nature. Don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. When you hear a shoe shiner start talking about stocks, know it's time to sell. Money comes to you through other people. Chat. Uncommunicative people rarely become rich. Dealing with people is a commodity that can be bought in the same way we buy sugar or coffee. And they will pay more for such a skill than for anything else in the world. I've always tried to turn any disaster into an opportunity. In my opinion, the one who claims that great wealth necessarily ultimately promises happiness to its owner is mistaken. There are unfortunate rich people, and there are happy ones. The happiness of the latter is explained only by the fact that they are capable of performing acts that can bring happiness to other people. Without wealth, there is no incentive to work, without these incentives, there is neither knowledge nor art. Earn a reputation and it will work for you. A business-based friendship is better than a friendship-based business. It is not enough just to do the right thing, it is very important to convey to people that you are doing the right thing. I never knew who I would be in this life, but I always knew that I was born for something more. I had the feeling that I was successful everywhere making a profit, because the Lord knew that I was going to turn around and give in full. I believe it is my duty to make money, more money, and use the money made for the good of my neighbors, as my conscience tells me. Help people disinterestedly from a pure heart, but only to those whom you yourself want to help. Give 10% of your profits to charity. Do you know what gives you the greatest pleasure? See how the dividends come from the invested effort. Good management is about showing ordinary people how to get great people to work. You can report for every million you earn, except for the first. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. If I had to give parting advice to a young man who is just about to embark on the path of life, I would tell him the following, if you are going to achieve great, generally recognized success, then whether you are independent or forced to sell your work, do not start your life path with the thought of getting as much money out of work, at all costs, as possible. When choosing a vocation in life, provide a solution to your first thought, which will come to mind in response to the question, where can I settle down so that it is best to use my powers for the benefit society? Where will my work be more necessary in the interests of the same society? With these thoughts enter the life of an activist and your first steps in it will be the first steps to success. The name of oil tycoon John Rockefeller is still considered a symbol of wealth. He made his fortune by starting from scratch, while he consistently spent part of his fortune on charity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new episodes. Until next time.